everybody, welcome to Noraverse. And today we're going to be doing fall inspired TikTok hacks. Pumpkin dump cake, pumpkin spice latte, and the coolest thing of all that I'm so excited to try, an invisible pumpkin pie. Now, this is going to be epic if it works out. And if it doesn't, we try, we try. Recipe one is going to be our pumpkin spice crunch dump cake. Now I'm going to have the entire recipe because I'm doing it for a little square pan here. You know, gotta watch this. You're going to need some pumpkin puree, evaporated milk, two eggs, pumpkin pie spice, some salt, some pecans, any kind of cake mix. I'm using this one, it's the only one that was not sold out. Some sugar, and that sounds like that's pretty much it. So first thing that they do in the TikTok is they open their pumpkin puree. And you really need to get one automatic ones. You guys ever watch Futurama and remember where Bender got magnetically pulled to the can opener and he was so scared of them? That's what I think about the automatic can openers. Here's delicious pumpkin. Oh, smells like so legit right now. So we're going to need one full cup of pumpkin. Gonna go like this and just put it in. I'm trying to be exact here even though I have the recipe. Put it in here. Woo! Yeah. Now, we're going to need one half and one quarter of evaporated milk. This bad boy right here. So I'm gonna shake it. I don't know if you have to shake it. I usually cook with condensed milk, but that's what the re recipe asks for. Oh, it's bubbly. We're gonna have one half and one quarter. I don't even know what is evaporated milk. Like literally, it, that is what it is. Evaporated milk, I guess. Two eggs. Oh yeah. Half a cup of sugar. Yes. Okay. Just like that. I've never made a dump cake or had one, but apparently those are really popular. We're going to add half a tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice. I wish you guys could smell it. Now we're going to add a pinch, a dash of salt. I'm gonna go salt bay. Woo! Oh yeah. <gasps> the pumpkin spice, look at that orange color. While we're doing this, make sure your oven is preheated to 350 Fahrenheit. And then when we put this bad boy in the oven, it's going to be in there for a whole hour. But maybe because it's small, 45 minutes, we're gonna serve with that, because I don't wanna burn it. Last time I made the cinnamon roll, burned on the outside, it was raw on the inside. It's not a fun time, but if you guys are interested, check it out. <laughs> oh my God, it smells so good. Once you mix this, you pour it into a greased pan. So let me get my spray. I have my coconut spray. Okay, what? Why isn't it spraying? There you go. Yes, that's a greased up pan. Okay. Yep, just like that. We're going to open this cake mix and there is 461 grams. So half of that is going to be 230. And 230 is one cup. How do you not really mix this into the cake mix? You're literally just supposed to Go like this and not even pat it down. You're just supposed to leave it on top. That's crazy. And now we're going to add some pecans on top. I know this is gonna be good because anything that has pecans is my favorite. And now what we're going to need is half a stick of melted butter. And I'm gonna microwave it until it melts. Straight out of the microwave. We're gonna pour it on top. Wow, that actually looks amazing. It smells even better. Now we're going to put this in the oven. I'm gonna start with 40 minutes because it is a smaller batch. And while that's in the oven, we're going to start with our drink. Pick up hack number two, drink. So what we're going to need is a few, not so simple ingredients, but you can get them anywhere. We're going to start with two cups of milk. And you can use any milk. You can use oat milk, coconut milk. We're gonna get one fourth of pumpkin puree. There you go, yeah, and just throw that in. One tablespoon of brown sugar. Oh yeah, just throw that in. And we're going to need one tablespoon of white sugar. There you go, throw that in. Two of these of pumpkin pie spice mix. One and two. One 
quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Put that in. Like so. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. My carpal tunnel look is literally making everything shake. Wow. Oh my god. I spilled because of my carpal tunnel. Whoa. That's serious. And then she microwaves it till it's hot. So I'm gonna assume 45, 60 seconds. All right, so our pumpkin spice latte mixture is out and it's hot. We're going to whip it until it's frothy. I guess that's as frothy as it's going to get. Now we, go, we grab our mason jar mug with a little bit of splashes of the mixture everywhere because of our mix. We're gonna put two shots of espresso. Now we're going to pour in the pumpkin spice mixture. Wow, that looks amazing. Shake your whipped cream, fades fully down, and then you push. Whoa. Now they put a little bit of the pumpkin spice powder on top, put in a straw, and here's our beauty. It smells absolutely stunning. It looks beautiful. I added some chocolate sprinkles, a little bit of cinnamon on top, and some pumpkin spice. Wow, that is so pumpkin-y. It actually tastes like Thanksgiving pie in your mouth. You know, this would actually be even good cold. Like if you do like a frappuccino with ice, that would be incredible. I'm obsessed. You guys should definitely try this. So our dump cake is out of the oven. Look at that. Look at that. 40 minutes was perfect. Spoon it out. Oh wow. I don't know, hers was like juicier. It's supposed to be like this. I'm gonna try it. I'm scared though because it's really hot. This is my first time having dump cake. Wow. I'm obsessed. It's actually incredible. It's better than the drink. It's so fluffy, it's like a souffle. Guys, you have to try it. You, I literally recommend it. And now I'm gonna get some vanilla ice cream on the side. Oh, it's gonna be perfect. This is a Thanksgiving pie right here. And the whole family can just spoon it out. So delicious. And we're back with our third and final recipe. We're making a clear, invisible, see-through pumpkin pie. So instead of, you know, making my own crust, we all know I can make one from my eight-in-one pan desserts. I just got one of these bad boys. This is ready-made pie crust, and I'm just going to put it into my pie. Woo! So you go like this with your finger, and you fold it into the edges. So it's not as attractive as I wanted it to be. I'm just gonna straighten out the edges. So then we grab a fork and we're gonna do little holes so it bakes through. So it's nice and no soggy bottom. It's supposed to look something like this. Nice, nice. We're gonna put this in the oven for 20 minutes. While that's in the oven, we're going to make our pumpkin filling. We have four cups of water, all in here, half a cup of sugar, three tablespoons of powdered gelatin, and we're going to need one tablespoon of pumpkin pie syrup. And we're gonna pour all that in there and boil it together. The gelatin first. Sugar. Oh my God when that happens. The syrup. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And we're going to just stir. Oh, it's already thick. Wow. So we're just gonna stir this for a while. I think until everything's mixed together real well. And then we're going to cool it in the fridge. There you go. And we're gonna let this set in the fridge until it's chill. Gently hardened, not fully hardened. While that's chilling, guys, look, our crust is out. It turned a little peculiar looking. I don't know why it's so crooked. We all saw me massage it perfectly evenly. It's more like a flaky pastry, not a pie crust. Maybe next time I'll make my own. So our pie crust is out. It's not the prettiest of things, but it's fine. We have gelatin, pumpkin spice. I've been waiting for two hours for this. So let's just pour it. Oh, wow. Wow, that's so cool. Look at that. Oh my God, that's beautiful. 
Wow, that actually tastes like pumpkin spice. Anyway, so this is going to go into the freezer for about 20 minutes. But they also said that we have to microwave this so we pour it on top so it's straight. Whoa, woo. <laughs> So this came out of the microwave. It's a nice liquid consistency. And now we're just gonna pour it to straighten everything out. Oh no, it's pouring under. Okay, now I'm gonna put this in the freezer for 20 minutes, okay? And we're back. We have our pumpkin gelée or our pumpkin spice pie. The invisible, amazing, luscious baby. Does this not remind you guys of a jellyfish? Have you guys ever seen a jellyfish out of the water when it's like on the beach? Like this, this is the head and this is like the side of it. Wow, at the brains of a jellyfish. Anyway, let's cut it. Oh, no soggy bottom there. Okay, please don't break and work out. No. Whoa, incredible. Whoa. Smells like pumpkin spice. I can't believe we actually made this. Insane. There you go. Now that is a pumpkin pie. Should we try it? I hope I don't have any crumbs all over me, but this is crazy. Okay, I'm not gonna say it's the most amazing thing I've ever had because it's not, I mean, it's obviously like gelatin, but does it taste like pumpkin spice pie? Yes, it does. Does it look super cool and amazing? Heck to the yeah. I mean, look at that. What? Who would have thunk it? This is really the invisible pie. I mean, you can barely see it on camera. Look at that. Whoa. Oh! That's so cool, now it's visible. <laughs> Thank you TikTok and Tasty for introducing this cool thing to me. Can you imagine if we add some food coloring? You can make it pink, you can make it orange, you can make it any coloring. What you do is you make sure that each part has a little, oh, no. Anyway, I hope you guys were impressed, inspired, and hungry enough to try some of these. Let me know your thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.